Okay, guys, let's get started with the analysis for volatility 75. How do you analyze volatility 75? So generally what you want to do is you always want to start analyzing from the daily time frame or the weekly time frame. Uh, with volatility, we, it hasn't been around for that long, so you can't really use the weekly time frame uh, because, you know, it hasn't been for that many weeks for us to go back in time. So let's just use what we have. Okay, as you can see, guys, this is volatility 75. If you don't have um, have it like this on um, trading view, um, I have a video done on how to get it on trade, trading view on my YouTube website at um, Trade House Billionaire. So if you guys can go check it out there, you'll know how to get trading view. Um, for volatility 75 so basically what we want to do guys always when you analyze is you want to start on the bigger time frame and we want to zoom out like like the zoom out so we can see um, as far as we possibly can okay so right now price is in this area right here okay price is in this area right here and what we want to do is we want to identify areas of support and resistance so basically support is the floor and resistance is the roof and what price generally does is price always moves from an area of support to resistance price always starts at the floor and goes to the roof goes to the roof and then goes to the floor floor roof roof floor just like that so just an example of um what is support and resistance for the for the newbies for people that are new to trading what we're going to do is uh, make sure that our chart is on the line chart, okay? So as you can see, you have the candlesticks here, and then you have the line chart, okay? You just literally alternate between these two, okay? So what we want to do is we want to identify um, support and resistance. So this is support. Support, I, I identify support as areas that have been touched um, two times and have been significant so you can see price touched this area twice and was respected there was respected there okay let's look for another area of support support was here again do you guys agree that was support that was support that was resistance that was resistance i mean okay here's an area of support where the market came but I don't identify this as support because what there's no, not more than two touches. So what price does in a situation like this is um, what I would say is price is in an area. So what you do is you take a box and just highlight that area where price had turned around. Okay. So price generally reacts around this level. Okay. So we have that zone highlighted there. Okay. We'll go back. Back to the line chart, we want to identify resistance. Okay, there's resistance. So we identified support, we identified resistance, we identified support, we identified resistance. Okay, let's keep going. Here was the highest point. So this is the highest resistance that we have on volatility 75 at the moment. And then here is somewhat of second highest area that has been respected the most times so what we do uh, when price reacts around a level like this that has multiple touches what we want to do is we want to highlight that area okay just want to highlight that area so we know that area is at a significant price okay so we have that area highlighted as well and let's highlight this area down here as well okay you can see price has reacted around this area here as well. Okay. So you guys can see we have these three significant areas right here. So what we're going to do is go back to the candlesticks. Okay. And then let's move down to the eight hour time frame and look for better opportunities. Okay. Oh, uh, this is what I hate about this. Our areas that we highlighted are gone, but it's okay. We have those areas in white there. So those areas that we 
we have white lines or those are support and resistant lines okay so what you generally want to do is you want to buy you want to buy price when it is at support you want to buy price when it is at support and you want to sell when it is at resistance when you see, see when the market was at resistance it came back down to support when it was at resistance it came back down to support when at resistance it came back down to support it happened so these areas here that we have identified here these are important levels and as you can see right now, price is moving towards those areas. Let's move to the four hour time frame. Okay. If you guys can see right now, price is approaching a resistance area that we have highlighted. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, area is approaching this zone here. So what we show that price is going to get up to that level. And what we want to do is we want to identify for a trading opportunity, either to sell this thing or we want to look to buy this thing. Okay. We're looking to either buy or to sell VIX 75 guys. You have to have both options, but you also have to have a bias. So my bias right now is looking for selling opportunities around this area. Why? Because price has respected this area so many times that you know there's a possibility it could respect it again if it does not respect it, then what we're looking for is confirmation that this line here this resistant line here turns into support so our floor needs to become our roof okay well our roof needs to become our floor basically okay so we're looking for opportunities right here around this level this night what is it around this level here ninety six thousand two hundred level around that level we're looking for opportunities okay so let's zoom in to the hourly time frame and see what price has done over the last few days okay so as you guys can see, we had this zone here. This was our resistance zone here. Okay. That was resistance. This was support. We had the support area here. Okay. If we go and pull up the trend line, we have the screen here in place. This area, there's a, there's a touch here. So I was following these touches here because I was looking at these two touches here were quite significant for me and they were respected. So as you can see, price went out and popped out of the support line, came then tested this other support line. This support line was valid. So it came back and it came back into this channel, broke out again, didn't go anywhere, came back in, broke out again, didn't go anywhere, and then finally broke above our resistance. That's when we knew that this uptrend is intact. So right now, there is no really trading opportunity um to 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 the upside or to the downside i am currently in a trade to the upside that i took earlier on um i entered the market around this area here and i've been a trade until where it is right now i'm going to be looking to take profit around this zone here so just to show you guys what i mean i got into the trade around here until about there. Okay, I don't want this long position. There we go. So this is the trade that I'm in right now. Um, this, I'm risking a very small Basically, it's a one to two trade to the upside here. It's a really small trade. 
because why we want to see what price does around this area um, to look for more opportunities either to um, place orders to the upside or place orders to the downside. So what could possibly happen here, guys? Let me see if I can pull up. Um, Where is this little pen of mine? Okay. So price could either come out, come to the upside here, and then it likes to fake out. So what it could do is fake out and then come back down and test this line here. This is what price could do, okay. And then what it would do is it probably resume back to the upside like that, okay. Those are, the, those are the possibilities right now that we could see. Price could probably do something like this. We'll go back to the upside, okay. So that's, that's the, the bullish bias that we have to the upside and um, in terms of selling opportunities. And look guys, we're only looking to get into this trade once we see price either break up, come retest this line and then go back up. So if price had to come back down to this line, then we'll be looking for this trade to the upside to our next key level of resistance. Our next key level of resistance got, okay. So that's kind of the trade that we're looking for. If V75 does play out to be very bullish for the next few days, okay? That is the bullish buy set. Okay, so let's look at the other pairs that we have in mind. We have volatility 10. I don't know if any of you guys trade volatility 10. Let's see what's happening there. So remember guys, we start at the daily time frame always. We start at the daily time frame. And you always want to zoom out as much as you can. You always want to zoom out as much as you can. See as much as you can. You can, like an eagle. You want to have a bird's eyes perspective. You want to see things from above. Okay. As you can see, we don't have really much that to work with. This is all the data that we have um, with V10. So basically, it started trading from what's this data? I can't see this data on here. It hasn't been trading for a very long time, guys. It's been trading since about 2018 somewhere in 2018 and we've been in a downtrend ever since so we don't have really much to work with so what we'll do is we go to the light chop okay and we want to identify our key levels of support and resistance okay so right now this is the support level that we had and that was broken, okay. As you can see, price is below that support level. And this is the highest, this is the resistance level that we had at that time. And it was also support there, support there, it became um, resistance there, resistance there, okay. Let's look, this was also another area of resistance sometime in the market, okay. See price respected this area, okay. So this is how you want to identify your sweet spots when it comes to support and resistance with the, the line, line graph, guys. The line graph will always give you those perfect points where the market turned around, okay. So if you go back to our candlesticks, we can see price respected those levels, okay price respect to those levels. So what we do, let's go to the four hour time frame.
so you guys can see this is what it looks like on the four hour time plan. Okay. This was our support level that has now become resistance because we have broken below it. Okay. This is our resistance level. That is now a major resistance level right now. If the market does come back into this zone, okay. And right now we're below this level. So right now we don't have any support below us. The only thing we have is resistance, okay. So what we need to do now is go to the lower time frame and see what opportunities are there. So as you guys know, we're in a downtrend. We are in a downtrend. So you need to identify that we're in a downtrend. So we're not looking for any buying opportunities. We're only looking for selling opportunities right now. You guys can see we're in a downtrend, okay? I hate when my laptop glitches like this. But anyways, you guys can see downtrend. Identify more key errors. You see, we broke out of this channel that we had here. This was a significant. So do you see, you guys can see what I'm talking about when an area breaks out. So it broke out, it came back, it tested, came back and it tested that area and then it just, once, it broke below this level. This was your time to get into the market. This was your this was your your signal to get into the market. Once you broke that lower low, once you broke that lower low, that was your time to get into the market. So right now, you guys can see we're consolidating in the zone right here. You can see price is literally in the zone. Uh, one of two things are gonna happen. Either price is gonna bounce to the upside the price is going to go to the downside, okay? Okay, you guys can see we're in that zone there. So, but since we're in a downtrend, what we're looking for is selling opportunity to the downside. What we're looking for is price to come lower and test these levels here, okay? This is the level, the next level of support that we're looking to test. So this could be a nice trade to get into. if we are risking this breakout to the downside, okay? Yeah. You only want to risk until the midpoint of the zone, then you know your group. So what we'll do is we'll have sell stop limits around this area, and then once price gets to this level, we're in the trade to the downside. So that's for volatility 10, guys. Let's go and see volatility 25. What's happening there? Remember, guys, you always want to start on the daily time frame. Okay, daily time frame. And identify your key levels of support and resistance. On the Forex, you mainly want to do your weekly time frame, but as we're trading synthetic indices, if you guys have not traded volatility 75 or any of these pairs, just um, contact me. I can send you the link to get registered. Um, the reason why we trade these pairs, guys, is because of the volatility. And generally, the, the Forex market is slow. And you know, sometimes you can wait a very long time to get a nice trading opportunity. But here with volatility 75, the market is always moving 24 seven. And the nice thing is that fundamentals do not distract it. So basically it trades off of price action only. So this is a great, um, a great, great, great um, opportunity to trade as a technical trader, uh, where you know there's minimum risk in terms of spikes you know that could happen due to you know 
um, economic events, you know, Donald Trump, you know, saying something on Twitter or, you know, a nuclear bomb or, you know, China trade wars, anything like that. Um, this is not affected by it at all. It just trades through price action. So what we want to do is we want to identify support and resistance, go to the line time frame. Okay, we can see this is our support here. Okay, and then here is our resistance above here. Okay, that's our highest point. And then we want to identify our midpoint. Okay, we have our midpoint around this level. Okay, and then you can take any significant levels that you want to add, you know, that you feel are important. Okay, I saw that low there, these two highs here. This could be a significant level in the future. Okay, that's pretty much what we have for now. Okay, let's go to the eight hour time frame. Okay, you guys can see this is how it looks like. So, you guys can see what price is right now. Price is at resistance. It is at resistance. So what does that mean? When price is at resistance, what we're selling, for, we're looking for selling opportunities. Okay, we're really looking for selling opportunities, guys. If not, if the market breaks above the zone and time is above here, then we're looking for buying opportunities. Okay, so let's just identify. I see this trend line here in place. Okay. We have this little zone here as well. Significant area. So let's go to the four hour time frame and see if we can get anything clearer. How many minutes do we have left? Okay. We still have some time. We'll go through volatility 50 uh, and 100 as well. Okay, so as you guys can see, let's see if we can just clone this trend line. Clone it, okay. Let's see if this, this, this line. Okay, so you guys can see we have this line to the upside here. It was respected a few times, it was respected there, it was respected there, it broke out there, but it was respected and came back in, and it was respected there. Okay, so let's go to the hourly time frame and see if we can find trading opportunities to the downside, because that's our bias. We're in a downtrend on the bigger time frame. Okay. So as you guys can see, price is approaching this level. So what I would be looking for in this situation is I would be looking for, for price to do something like this, come up, test that level, come back down, probably form some sort of trap for buyers here. Yeah. You can see the double top like that, if price resumes up, then what we're looking for, we're not gonna take this buy trend. We're gonna wait for price to come back and test this level here, okay? Once it tests that level there, then only will we look for an opportunity to the upside like that, okay? But if price doesn't do that, oh, why is this gonna keep doing that? And it just comes down to this level and it forms a double M, forms something like this, then we're looking for opportunities, what? To the downside, okay? So that's that's what we're looking at right now with V25, and that's the possible scenarios we'll have for this week. Okay, so let's move on to volatility 50. See if 
I can find opportunities. So we'll start off from the daily. Okay. Okay, and you always want to zoom out as much as you can. Always want to zoom out as much as you can to see the bigger picture. Okay, so this is all we have in terms of the bigger picture, guys. This is all we have. So what you do is you go to your line time frame, okay, and then you want to identify your key levels and support resistance. So this is the lowest level we had here. Okay, so we're going to line up that level there in the mark. This was the highest level the market had ever reached. Okay. This was a significant high as well. The market turned around. Okay. This was a significant market where the market was consolidating. As you can see, the market was in that zone and then broke out aggressively. Okay. So let's go to the candlestick time frame. We we'll go to the four hour chart. Okay, so we to zoom out. Okay, that's as much as it can zoom out. Okay, you want to zoom out until you can't zoom out anymore. Then you know you've zoomed out. Okay, you can see the whole thing. So you can see, guys, this area here, this area here. This area is a respected area here. This area here, guys, significant area. Okay, so we'll consider this area down down here. The mark has broken above there, and it's coming back down to test this level. If this mark resumes below, that means we are still in a downtrend. If so, if the market continues resuming down here, that means we're looking for selling opportunities only once. Uh, we break this level. So what you'd have in place is you would have uh, sell stops. Okay, you can have sell stops to the downside here. Okay, and you want to risk very minimum. The risk very minimum, guys. The point of trading, guys, is to make profits, but you want to risk. You want to risk smaller than. You always want to risk one to two minimum. Okay, what's gonna risk one to two minimum? If price doesn't resume back down, what we know is that price is probably gonna turn around at this area. And continue back up. Okay, That's, this is either what's gonna happen with price. Okay, one of two things is going to come test this level where it broke out and continue back up, or it's going to continue going back down. Okay, so you always want to be aware. Okay, let's do the last pair volatility 100 and see if we can find opportunities there. Remember, guys, you start off on the daily time frame. The line chart. Okay. Hmm. So you guys can see where we are right now. We're in the zone. And then we just broke out. So what you want to do is you want to identify your key level. This is the lowest level we've ever been. Okay, we're gonna mark that area there. Mark this area up here. That was one of your highest levels. We're gonna mark this area here as well because this was a significant low. Okay, this was a significant low because the market rallied up here, rallied there. Okay, so this was a significant low. This was a, a very low low until the market um, took out that flow. Okay, you wanna mark this area. I like this double, this double part.
bottom area here. You can see with the market respect to that level. You see what I'm saying? So you always want to highlight, highlight these significant levels that you see in the market. And your eye will begin to identify them, you know, the more you analyze the market. The more you analyze the market, the, the quicker you're going to be able to identify these significant areas, okay? So we've significant, um, we've identified our, our significant areas right now. So let's move to the four hour time frame and see if we can find anything as to where this market is going. Okay, as you can see guys, we had this res respected bounce off of resistance, okay? So if you zoom out, let's see what we can find. So you guys can see the market has just been rallying to the upside ever since. Okay, you guys can see we are we currently just broke below this level. So what happens with the price here is we're gonna look at and wait. We're gonna basically look, wait and see what price does. If it resumes and continues up and then pushes the upside, or if it is rejected by this line, some points around here, and then continue to the downside and test the support level that we have here, or come even down lower. But my bias up right here is that we could see price strengthen because we had this very um, bullish move here. If I can show you guys, we had this bullish move here where price broke out, out of this channel. If you guys can see, we had this channel here. If I can clone this for you. Okay, so we have this move to the upside. So what we could possibly see is price come down here, test this level and then resume back up. Or we could just see this thing move to the upside from where it is right now. Okay, so let's, let's go to a lower time frame and see, see the bigger picture. So this is support level. It was once resistance. See price respected this level. Price respected this level here. So this is the range that we're within right now, guys. This is the range that we're within right now. For me, I'll rather wait and see um, see what happens when price reaches this level, guys. Um, so we'll definitely notify you on the group as to what happens. Um, but what you should be looking for is some sort of test at this line. We see price turning around and then continuing back down to test this level. Or we could just see price break above, consolidate for a bit, form. Um, a bullish triangle and then keep pushing to the upside. Okay, so if you guys enjoy this video and definitely want to see more of what we do and get our free signals, um, definitely do contact us and we will be more than happy to share with you guys uh, what we do. And guys, this is this is only a micro, micro, micro. Um, you know, a fraction of what we know in terms of the markets, guys. There's people out there that, you know, you know, 10 times as much as we do, and we're fortunate enough to work with them. And uh, if you guys want to be exposed, 
to that market, you know, to be able to trade with professionals, uh, definitely do contact us because, you know, we're doing amazing things right now. So guys, I've learned this skill, you know, I'm able to create my own signals right now. I'm able to go into the market anytime. All I need to do is find a laptop and internet. I can make money. So guys, I want you guys to be able to learn that skill as well. And we have the platform to do that. So if you guys are interested and want to take your trading to the next level, you know what to do. And um, we'll definitely see you on the next weekly analysis next week. Um, so definitely be in touch. And uh, please do subscribe. We're going to post this onto YouTube. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. And um, we'll see you guys in the next one. So thank you very much, guys.